Those three crafting professions cover all weapons and armor types in Elder Scrolls Online. Blacksmithing for heavy armor and mini weapons. Clothing is for light and medium armor. Woodworking is for shield and ranged weapons, so all types of staff and bow. The first step is getting materials in the world while questing. The Keen Eye passive helps you finding them by making them shine yellow, but after a while you will notice that knowing where and what to look for, you may go without the passive. Plants may be an exception, as they really blend well into their surroundings. Additionally, the Hireling passive is a good way to obtain more base materials and possibly other items which will be sent to you by mail once and later twice every day. Now, at appropriate crafting stations, you can use the first icon we find to possess the collected base materials, ore to ingots, rough wood to sanded wood, plants into clothes and animal hides into leather. Note that this process has a chance to yield improvement materials and trade stones. The basic chance is rather low, but can be greatly improved with a passive. That's the reason many players are asking to buy base materials. They don't need those base materials to craft, but they know refining is the best way to get those improvement materials, which increase the quality of an item, and everyone will need plenty of those at the latest in endgame. Now, with our refined materials, let's proceed to the next, the creation process, which consists of four steps. First, pick any item type you want to create. There are no recipes to learn first. Second, by choosing which refined material you have and want to use, the minimum item level is determined. You can create a higher item level up to a certain degree corresponding to that material tier by adding more of that refined material. In order to use the material after the first tier, you will need to advance the corresponding craft passive. Third, choose the racial style which determines the cosmetic look of that item and will consume a crafting ingredient, a style specific stone. These crafting ingredients can be found mostly by deconstructing items, binding them in cupboards and desks or purchased by the vendor near crafting stations for a mere price of 15 gold apiece. There are 10 racial styles for each of the 10 playable races, but at start you can only create the style of your own race and need to learn the rest by finding style manuals called Motus found in various containers in the world and adding them to your library. Another 4 racial styles, Ancient Elf, Barbarian, the Aetric and Primal, can be found starting in veteran content. Fourth. Adding a trade is optional and you must have it researched already. It consumes a trade gem and adds a special effect on the item. There are 8 specific traits and gems for armor and another 8 specific traits and gems for weapons. All crafted items start out in normal white level. You can improve that item step by step to a higher rarity level by applying the improvement material. Tempers, tenors and resins. For each piece of those improvement material added into the process, you will only have a chance to improve it and when the improvement process fails, the item and improvement materials are lost. So, to avoid this, you will need to increase the number of those materials to increase the chance up to 100% success. Normal to find improvement has a 20% base chance per improvement material used, so you will need 5 of them for 100%. The following improvement steps have lower base chance per piece, so you will need more and more materials in each step up to legendary quality. The expert type passive increases the chance for each piece used and so reduces the number needed for 100% success. It increases your base chance starting with 50 up to 150% increase. Now, by upgrading the item's rarity type from normal to legendary, naturally it will gain higher stats, but this will also change the item's appearance. It will change colors, details and overall should look more impressive. Note that you can improve all armor and weapons in the game and this is the reason why everyone will need at least some crafting level. So, for example, when you find an epic item and it is bound to your character by picking it up, you cannot give that item to another player. 
you will have to improve its quality to legendary by yourself. And you will want the expert type passes to induce the number needed of improvement materials. Remember choosing the trade in the creation process? Now you can only choose a specific trade on an item type after you have researched that trade on it. To do so, you need an item which has already that trade and use research which destroys the item. Broken and worn down items are perfect for this as they already have less or zero merchant value but can be researched. So, there are 8 crafting trades for each item type. Researching the first trade takes 6 hours, but this research time doubles for every subsequent trade you use research on that item type and the standard research time goes up to 32 days for the last trade. As you see, it is a very long time process to research those trades and it is highly recommended to skill the passive which allows to research up to 3 items at once and reduce research time by 20%. Now, you could research only the trades you do want to create items with, but there is a reason to research all trades. There are special locations with craft workstations where you can create any weapon and armor with set bonuses, but they require a certain amount of trades research for each item type you want to craft. You can craft those items with any material and any item level you want. The requirement starts with two research trades and goes up to all possible trades researched. There are three set bonus crafting stations in every major zone. Note that two sets, Spectre's Eye and Oblivion's Foe, are in the final zone Cold Harbor. The last four, Eyes of Mara, Chalidor's Curse, Cagnac's Hope and Ognum's Scales, are only accessible when you are at the end of the Mages and Fighters Guild questline. The deconstruct process destroys and recovers the refined base materials with a chance for trade gems, style stones and improvement materials. Like in the refined process, the passive skill improves your chance in obtaining these materials greatly. But there's one thing to keep in mind. If you deconstruct an item with 5 item level above your character level, you will start to get less material rewards with the use of deconstruct regardless of your crafting level or any invested skill points. To level up your craft profession. Completing a trade research gives you crafting XP, but most XP is gained by the create and especially with the deconstruct process. Because the XP gain is related to the item level, choosing which item type to craft is simply taking the one with the least materials required, because a level 1 greatsword does not give more XP than a level 1 dagger. In blacksmithing, there is only daggers, because all other weapons and heavy armor pieces need more ingots. While clothing has more items sharing the same material requirement. In woodworking, you can choose among the bow and the rail staves. Now we have the item type. But which item level to create is a bit number crunching in order to compare XP gain with material cost. So let's just take a look at the results. Note. Only tier 1 is an exception concerning which item level to craft. All subsequent tiers it is just choosing the minimum item level in each material bracket. That's because adding more of the material to increase the item level in each bracket costs more than you gain XP for it. To make it clear, most online games use a strict way in order to progress. There is an order what, when and how many to create to level crafting efficiently but that's not the case in Elder Scrolls Online. In other games, recipes and crafts have XP gain like quests and when they change their difficulty color, because craft level is higher than the item level you possess, you lose XP for it till it turns gray and get no XP anymore. Elder Scrolls does not have this strict order and you are free to mix the different tiers in crafting. See, the XP gained by create and deconstruct a level 6 item is always the same, no matter your crafting level and no matter your character level. Now, let's move next to deconstruct, which is the last in this but definitely not the least in XP gain. First, an example of looking at the XP gain in create and deconstruct process. Yes, create is a good chunk of XP, 
but using deconstruct with item drops, quest rewards or other players created items doubles that XP gain. The only thing you may want to avoid when creating a lot of items is to deconstruct your own item as XP gain is heavily reduced. Cinemax wants us to trade crafted items with other crafters and that's the reason you will see in chat players asking to trade 50 daggers for example. Now, let us close with an insight how you could approach handing those crafts. Deconstruct gives so much craft XP and material rewards that you could ignore gathering materials and creating items. Just level the craft by deconstructing almost everything while keeping research going on. Note that Deconstruct Loot gives additional XP and material rewards because you will often get higher rarity type than normal white and it has sometimes traits on it. Or you combine it with some gathering along the way while questing and in this way increasing the craft level faster and obtain certain passives earlier. You will obtain more improvement materials through the refined base material process. Further. Those gathered materials enables you to create your own gear more frequently, maybe even gear with set bonuses. Both ways have their gold, time investment and gear benefits. So it's a choice what's more important to you. Any way you want to do it, just don't forget the passives, which cost nothing but skill points and you may want them as early as possible. When you hit endgame content, you will want to upgrade your weapons and armor to legendary quality. So it's wise to save at least the majority of your improvement materials and skill the, the expert type passive to reduce the number needed for 100% success. Now you know everything I know about those craft professions. If you have a tip not included here, feel free to share it in the comments. Thanks and have fun, fellow adventurers.